misguided and unrealistic. That's what the president of the Tibetan government in exile had to say about Chinese President Xi Jinping's proposed policy on Tibet. Among the four key policy directions that underline Xi Jinping's agenda, combating Tibetan separatism and sinicizing Tibetan Buddhism takes prevalence. Responding to Xi Jinping's claim of building an impregnable fortress in Tibet, Dr. Sange says that China must first address genuine grievances of the Tibetan people. Not to mention the 154 Tibetans who set themselves on fire in protest against Chinese policies in Tibet. Calling on China to recall its past experiments, Dr. Lopse says, and I quote, For Tibetans, Buddhism is more important than communism. To force them to treat communism as more important than their faith is not only a violation of international religious freedom, but is also deeply misguided. Sinicization of Tibetan Buddhism is never going to work. The last 60 years of Chinese rule in Tibet is a testament to that fact. Expressing concern at China's military buildup on the Tibetan plateau, Dr. Sangye raised calls to China's military expansionism. He says, and I quote, China has been quietly militarizing the Tibetan plateau for over 60 years under the pretext of development and modernization. For Tibet, this has only led to an influx of soldiers, hand settlers and weapons. And for its neighbors, this militarization of the Tibetan plateau has led to a military buildup on its borders, jeopardizing the already contentious border regions as evidenced by the recent Galwan incident. Dr. Sange, the president of the Central Tibetan Administration, otherwise known as the Tibetan government in exile, made the comments in reaction to Chinese President Xi Jinping's recently announced plans for Tibet.